Let's have a look back at some of the highlights from that race. And Alice, it was fun really all the way through, wasn't it? Because uh, it's a longish race, it's a two driver race, but right from the start, they were pushing hard. Yeah, they certainly were. Nice, clean racing from the start as well. And this was where it changed. So the move down into St. Mary's one, really moving about. Uh, the Gordon Shedden car that was being driven at the time by Miles Griffiths managed to sneak through there. As we saw, ah, so that's, that's our answer. That's what happened to the 95. Uh, a spin off there, and that's why they had to then readjust the, the mirror. <laughs> but some fantastic race. And here where we saw number eight just sneaking through by the skin of their teeth. Uh, and then we've got as well the, the hall car that did a fantastic job. A really good race by them. Yeah, Andrew Cucotti was flying, wasn't he? But he was, everyone else was making those earlier pit stops. But Stuart Hall was just as quick as Andrew, actually. Um, he's got just a, a very high level of experience in motorsport. Both of them have. And it was lovely to see the, the, re the sort of stir they had. A big lead at that stage. But then after the pit stops, it was a slightly different story. Then we saw this, this er error from Richard Bradley, which was a shame because he was just getting back up to pace in the Lotus. It was just after he'd taken it on. But then this was the big moment. Gordon Shedden thought he got past the back markers, but by going on the grass, he then had no grip on the brakes. And you can see him bracing himself, bracing himself for hitting the barrier. Thankfully, when he hit it, it was just a narrow, sort of light touch and it wasn't too much damage. And out of it all, despite a penalty for a mistake in the pits, it was a big advantage for Dario Franchitti and Sean Lynn.